Hello everyone. Right now I am practicing the partial and residual payment. So I will be sharing the, uh, this part with you. So for this, first I will have to create an invoice. Okay. okay. So just go to accounting on the SAP Easy Access screen. Financial accounting. Accounts receivable. You can create in AP. Up to you. Document entry. Invoice. No mention the amount. Uh, this is the invoice. I am selling goods to this customer. I have sold goods to this customer for uh, rupees, say, 3 lakh. Okay. Now, here you have to choose the sales account. Entry is customer account debit to sales account. And our customer is this moving. And it will be credited. Here select the amount. posting so home limited account debit to sales account now post this document 18 this is this 9 was posted in company code and I have done now I will show you how to make partial payment and how to make residual so for this document I will uh, make the partial payment open one new screen and then again go to accounting financial accounting accounts receivable document entry and incoming payments mention the day of receiving payment I am just taking the same here you have to mention the bank account in which you want to receive the payment so and make sure uh, open item management has been marked for this account if not then you can go and mark go to fs00 select your gl account and then add it over there i have selected so total amount is 3 lakh so of 3 lakh I am receiving 1.5 lakh okay. mention the value date taking the same for now here you have to mention the customer account from which you are receiving the payment it is boom this is my customer whom I have sold the goods. Okay, now just click this process open items. Okay, I have not uh, assigned the tolerance group for this customer. Open new screen. Go to accounting. You have to go to the master report of customer. Financial accounting comes to see you master reports and change it is green today here select the orders group and then save it go back okay, I will have to come again on this screen Thank you. 
payment residual standard so the standard is when we are making the full payment for partial click on this and of 3 lakh right now customer is paying us 1.5 lakh so select this and here mention the amount which you are receiving from customer and then enter it should be zero always. Post this document posted. Open one new screen. Yes, I have already opened six maximum screen allowed. Customer for rupees three lakh rupees, so it was an open item. Okay, then I uh, then I received a payment for rupees one lakh fifty thousand from the customer. So DZ is for payment, DR is for for invoice. So I have received the payment, but it is still showing an open item. So this is the difference between partial and residual. Item will not be cleared in the partial payment unless you receive the full payment okay so let's just receive the remaining amount and let's the impact over here so again go to incoming payment and select that out Now you are receiving the remaining full amount that is 1.5 lakh. So you can do this either on this screen with the standard or on this partial. But since we are receiving the uh, complete remaining amount, so just select this. So just select both these items and I'll simulate this. And now post document is posted. Now let's see its impact. Again go to customer line item display. Refresh it from here. See now it has been cleared because we have received the full payment from the customer. So this was the partial payment. When we received the payment partially no item would be cleared it will remain the open item the document will remain the open and let create one new invoice for the residual payment Customer account. Okay, so my customer is home limited. I have created one new invoice for rupees fifty thousand. It is showing an open item. Now I will make the 
I will receive actually from the customer. So it will be residual. Now again go to the incoming payment screen. Mention the document date and your bank account in which you want to receive the payment. Bank incoming payment account. And say out of fifty thousand, right now I am receiving thirty five. Mention the value and the customer account. Customer is going to pay. And process open item. So on this screen, go to this residual items. Select this. Uh, you uh, you have to mention the payment which you are actually receiving. But on the residual items, you have to mention the difference. Uh, in this case, we are receiving the thirty-five thousand from customer, so the remaining balance is fifteen k. So you have to mention remaining balance over here. Enter, and it is zero. Now post this. Then double click. Receive payment from customer partially. And then save it. Now let's see its impact. Go to again this. Refresh it from here. Wait a minute. Select all items. Execute. So now you will see the difference. Here, I have made the payment. I have received the payment for rupees thirty-five thousand. So it has been cleared. And for remaining, it is still showing open. A new document number generated. The same. we have to make the payment for the remaining so let's just go again in coming payment shall i count bank income payment the remaining amount mentioned 15k value rate process this So now I am receiving in a residual way. Select this. Okay, need not to mention anything because right now no remaining balance is left. So save it or post. Document this was posted. Again check its impact. Refresh it. All items have been cleared now since we have received the full payment, right? And so yeah, this was about the partial and residual payment. So the basic difference is simply the creation of open item or cleared item. In partial payment, no clear. no item would be cleared unless the full payment is made there, there would be an open item remained uh, unless until and unless we have received the full payment or we have made the full payment but in the case of residual cleared item would be generated uh, for the amount we have for the partial amount we have received and a new open item would be generated for the remaining amount so this is the difference between partial and residual payment i hope this will help you to understand this more easily thank you